starch interest on mild steel rod so the objective of this experiment is to find the modulus of rigidity of the given mild steel rod right this is a objective a aim of this experiment and this is a, a machine used for finding the modulus of rigidity here we have the dial we have a dial here you can take the reading of torque applied this is motor so for the torque can be applied using motor as well as manually there are both facilities are available so the specimen fixed can be seen in the side view now you see the side view so here the specimen is uh, fixed between the two jaws so here uh, we can find the theta 1 value so that is the angular twist of the this end of the rod this end of the rod. similarly this end of the rod uh, angular twist of this end of the rod can be uh, taken from this dial so you can uh, take the value of theta 1 and theta 2 so the difference between these two will give you the theta value that is angular twist of the rod between this point and this point that is important for us then uh, you measure the distance then you measure the distance between this point and this point so that is known as uh, gauge length after measuring this uh, in initial settings that is in the uh, dial the pointer should uh, uh, just uh, near to the zero so wherever the uh, pointer you move to zero similarly here in this dial also move this uh, pointer to zero here also you move to zero these are all the three uh, initial condition you have to do so after this you take the readings you apply the 10 newton meter torque so you can see the pointer is indicating 10 newton meter so corresponding theta 1 and theta 2 you measure theta 1 and theta 2 you measure so theta 1 and theta 2 you measure see you can see it is away from uh, zero the difference between these two will give you the theta similarly now you apply again you 20 new, uh, newton meter uh, target you apply and corresponding theta 1 theta 2 uh, measure the difference between these two will be theta uh, keep on applying the uh, torque uh, for every 10 newton meter the corresponding theta 1 theta 2 you, you take so if you apply up to 10 newton meter you will get 10 readings 10 readings and uh, now you substitute in the, in the formula expression find the value of c so already we know the t value theta value l value j value what is j j is equal to pi d power 4 by 32 that is polar moment of inertia the steel rod diameter that is a d diameter of the steel rod and l already you have measured t and theta you have measured from the machine but while substituting theta you substitute in radians theta 2 minus theta 1 into pi by 180 and you find the value of modulus of rigidity c and uh, these are the observation name of the sample that is a steel rod length of the sample you measure in, measure and write diameter of the sample you measure and write so this is a tabulation this is a tabulation you will get 10 readings from 10 to 100 you enter the theta 1 enter the theta 2 theta 1 and theta 2 are in uh, degrees but theta in radian so theta 2 minus theta 1 into pi by 180 will give in radians then modulus of rigidity the same thing you can also calculate by graph how to find the modulus of rigidity using graph now let me explain right so now you would draw the graph in the vertical axis and horizontal axis here you take t here you take theta t and theta maybe you will get points like this fine like this it will be going like this so here you connect by a linear line straight line then it may be a curve like this it may be a curve like this so this is a limit of proportionality limit of proportionality so in the limit of proportionality you find the slope of the curve that is dy by dx what is dy by dx dy by dx what is that that is t by theta t by theta already we have the equation for modulus of rigidity c is equal to t l divided by j into theta d into theta here from the graph you will get t 
t by theta. So here you substitute. L and J already we know. So you can find the C value. That is a C value. That is modulus of rigidity obtained from the graph. So here you know the modulus of rigidity, that uh, limit of proportionality point, right? So the corresponding torque you note, say it is 50. Say it is 50. We don't know exactly. Say it is 50. So now you go to the uh, table. In the table, you will get actually 10 uh, modulus of rigidity. 10 modulus of rigidity values. Now you have to find the average. While finding the average, you don't take these values. We know that modulus of uh, the, that uh, limit of proportionality is up to this point. Then you find average of this. Then you find the average of this. You don't take while taking average these values. Only these values you find. Uh, so now you will get a average value of C. Average value of C modulus of rigidity. Now you compare this value with the graph. So here you write uh, using formula, you calculate the modulus of rigidity, right? So that value that is for first only within the proportional limit. You write here. Similarly, from graph you write here. So this is a way you have to do this experiment, right? This task and test on mild steel rod, MS rod. So this experiment, task and test on mild steel rod. So here uh, this specimen, this specimen uh, dimension is this is 10 mm, uh, 10 mm diameter. This is uh, 10 mm diameter and 150 mm long. This is a specimen. This specimen, the, our purpose of the experiment is, objective of the experiment is to calculate the modulus of rigidity of the. So, for this experiment, how the modulus of rigidity is calculated now? This specimen, one end is fixed, other end is subjected to twisting moment. Twisting moment. If a body is subjected to twisting moment, uh, what is the uh, Tarsen equation? T B J is equal to G theta by L is equal to tau by R. So this is the equation. In the easy <coughs> equation, you can calculate the modulus of rigidity. So what are the readings we are going to calculate is you fix this side and apply the uh, twist moment on this side. You calculate how much amount of torque is applied and how much the shaft is twisted. How much the angular displacement of the shaft. So that is theta 1 minus theta 2. Theta 1 minus theta 2. Angular twist of this end minus angular end of this main. That will give the angular twist of the shaft. That is theta. And you calculate the value and substitute in the equation and you can find the modulus of rigidity. In which equation T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to C theta by L. Here C is modulus of rigidity. In the equation you can substitute and calculate the modulus of rigidity. So here you can take the reading of torque. Here you can take the reading of a torque. Here this is one end. This is one end. This is another end. In between these two ends you have to join the workpiece. You have to join the workpiece. So here you can see the theta 1 value. Here we have a dial. In the dial you can see the theta 1 value. Similarly here dial is there. Here you can see the theta 2 value. So what is the angular twist of the specimen theta 1 minus theta 2 for the applied torque. Torque is known, theta is known, you can find the modulus of rigidity. So for applying the torque, you can um, uh, by manually also you can apply the torque and also we have a motor. We have a motor here, see, we have a motor. By using this motor, you can apply the torque. Initially, the torque is applied by hand. After that, because we want, need to take reading, we need to take reading for each load. So initially we use um, uh, manually, we apply the torque and after that, if you want, you can use the motor also, right? Now let us see how to do the experiment. So this, now the specimen is fixed. Now specimen is fixed. So this is one end, this is another end. There are two jars. In between the two jars, the specimen is fixed. So this is a specimen. Now uh, we need to measure the distance between the uh, workpiece. So here it is folded. Here is also it is fixed. Both ends are fixed. The distance between the support that we need to measure first. Now, what is the distance? The distance is now he is measuring the distance between the two supports. So the distance is 95 mm. 
So distance between DD to support is 95 mm. So L is equal to 95 mm. Now, now we have to set the zero in the uh, dial. So here we need to find theta one and theta two. So theta is theta one minus theta two. To find the theta one, first you have to fix zero. You have to fix zero. Similarly, here also you have to fix zero. In this dial, he is fixing zero. Now both are zero. So specimen is fixed. Distance is measured. It is 95 millimeters. Here theta one is zero. Theta two is zero. So now we can perform the experiment. So now he is applying the uh, targ. He is applying the targ manually. So see, you can see the reading is here. You can uh, see the targ applied. Here you can see the targ applied. You can see the targ applied. Ah, so now 10 Newton meter is applied. Targ is 10 Newton meter. For 10 Newton meter, what is the value of theta 1? Theta 2, we have to see. Theta 1 is theta 1 is 1 degree. Theta 1 is 1 degree. Theta 2 is 3. So then what is theta? Theta 2 minus theta 1. That is 3 minus 1, 2 degrees. For how much targ? 10 Newton meter. Targ is 10 Newton meter. Theta 1 is 1. Theta 2 is 3. Theta 2 minus theta 1 is 2 degrees. So theta is equal to 2 degree. So this is first reading. So now next reading. Now again you are going to apply the targ. Targ is applied. He is applying the targ. You can see the reading is it is applied manually. It is applied manually. He is applying the targ. Now targ is targ is 20 newton meter. Now let us see what is the corresponding theta 1 and theta 2. Theta 1 and theta 2. Theta 1, same one, it is uh, not twisted, it is fixed. Theta 2 is? Six. Theta 2 is 6. Theta 2 is 6. And what is theta? 6 minus 1, that is 5. Theta is 5. For 20 Newton meter. For 20 Newton meter, theta is 5. Now, again, you apply the torque. Torque is now applied. Okay, now the target is 30 Newton meter. Targ is the theta 1 value is 2. Theta 1 value is 2. Theta 2 is 8. eight. Theta 2 is 8. Then 8 minus 2 is 6. Theta is 6. For what um, targ value? 30 Newton meter. Targ is 30 Newton meter. And theta is 6. Next, we are apply again you apply the targ. Again you apply the targ. The needle is slowly rotating. You can see the rotation. Now we are applying 40 Newton meter. Now we are applying a target of 40. yes. If now it is 40 Newton meter. The theta one and theta two value are theta one, theta one two degrees. Same two degrees. Theta two. Theta 2 is 12. Theta 2 is 12. Then what is theta? It is 10 degrees. It is 10 degrees for 40 Newton meter. 40 Newton meter corresponding theta is 10 degrees. Now again you apply the load. It should be applied till it fails. Till it fails. Again he is applying the load. Now, almost it is 50 Newton meter. The target is 50 Newton meter. What is the value of theta 1? Theta 1 is 3. Theta 1 is 3. Theta 2 is 17. Theta 2 is 17. So, what is theta? 17 minus 3, 14 degrees for 50 Newton meter. 15 Newton meter theta is 14 degree. Next, again you apply the load. Again, you apply the load. Now the load is 60 
newton meter for 16 newton meter what is the theta 1 4 theta 1 is 4 theta 2 is 97 97 97 here it is 4 so 97 uh, minus 4 93 Ninety-three degree. Suddenly, it is increased. Theta is increasing. Now the load is sixty. Load is sixty, but theta is ninety-three. Okay, next. Now he is applying the torque using motor because uh, we need to. Uh, now he is applying torque using motor. Now the load is seventy. Now the load is seventy. Theta theta one is four. Theta one is four. Theta two is one one two. One one two minus four is theta. Okay. Theta one is four. Theta two is one one two. One one two. One one two minus four. Then one ninety eight. For the applied torque of seventy newton meter, the theta is one ninety eight. Now the target is eighty. The target is eighty. Theta one is five. Theta one is five. Theta two is one one thirty. So then one thirty minus five is equal to one twenty five. What is the target? It is eighty. Eighty newton meter target. Theta is one twenty five degree. Okay. Ah, next. The target is ninety. Now, the target is ninety. For ninety, ah, uh, theta one is five. Theta two is one fifty nine. So theta is one fifty nine minus five, one fifty four. For what is the target? Ninety. Ninety. Target is ninety newton meter. Target is ninety newton meters. Theta is. Target is ninety. Theta is one fifty five. Okay. Now, hundred target is hundred. Theta one is five. Theta two is two not five. Then what is theta? Two not five minus five two hundred. Theta is two hundred. Target is hundred. So now the target is target is one ten. Theta one is six. Theta one is six. Theta Four hundred. Theta two is four hundred. So four hundred minus six is three ninety four. Three ninety four theta, and target is one ten. Target is one ten. So if you apply the load, keep on applying the load. At one point, it will fail. Okay, the failure is uh, shear failure, torsion failure. Due to torsion, it will fail. So 